tried. Beer, beer, oh, you heard that already. Let's get to the goddamn problem because this is going to be a web question and it's probably going to be two minutes because it's really easy. All right, so which of the following will always map a rectangle onto itself? So, what, uh, so we need a rectangle first. Step one to solving this problem, draw a goddamn rectangle. I, so, what we're going to do, one, two, three, four, and bam. Now, this is not a rectangle. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure it's a rectangle. So, we're going to make sure that the points or the lengths are equal, or at least close to being equal. So, uh, let's see. Boom. So, now, we're going to uh, get a parallelogram. So, what do we need to do? rectangle to be very approximate, but it's still a rectangle but not for math. So what's up the phone will always map a rectangle onto itself. Reflects it over one of its sides. Huh, will that work? Well, if we think about it, then it's going to stay the same, but it's going to be reflected over somewhere else. So for example, if we use this side and reflect the rectangle over there, we're essentially taking it and putting it over here. Let's test out that hypothesis. As we can see, we, uh, as we are reflecting, that gives us a new rectangle that looks somewhat like this. And as you can see, if it was go if it was going to map the rectangle onto itself, then there would be no image like this sticking onto our original rectangle. To do uh, to to make this easier, I'm going to apply a red tint to all not going to make it a rectangle anymore, does it? So I go to apply a red tint to all of these points. So uh, we're going to put that there and not over there. So, oh, okay. So that means that this is not being mapped. Uh, uh, most of it will map something onto itself. Or 
the same thing, so it's congruent. But now, over here, we realize that this is essentially just taking this and tilting it. So that the diagonal does not look like this, but like this. So, hmm. So, that means that 2 has to be wrong. But 3 will be correct because always, always, if you take a shape with two, uh, 2 or an even amount of points of symmetry, then it's going to be congruent or it's going to map out to itself if you rotate it by 180 degrees. You take this thing, you know, uh, what can I call it? A uh, sort of rectangle, a really thin rectangle. Now, let's copy it, paste it, and turn it 180 degrees. Oh, what? I gave the rotation button. Now, it looks almost the same as it does before. Obviously, I could use a real rectangle, but where's the fun in that? So, that means that our right answer over here will be three. Thank you, everybody, for watching.